Okay, guys, I'm once again off to uh, see, try and see Oro up the mountain. And um, yesterday was the videos I produced talking about that that energy extraction joke video and the organic portal women are a trap video on them. And uh, yeah, today I want to talk about like dealing with pain because uh, in the context of you know how to survive in their world, the organic portals world. I mean, I know a lot about like health stuff. I'm you know, pretty pretty versed in a lot of stuff to do with health that you know most people are not. But um, I wanted to angle it a bit more to do with organic portals. I mean, for instance, you know, we just start lightly. It's going to be painful if I I don't see Oro today. Maybe he still thinks. You know, when I come in yelling, I'm going to be like yelling his name, shaking the food tray up where I was staying on that mountain. And I put it there so it doesn't get wet under the tarp. And, you know, he, he will get there eventually, especially if I'm calling. But today I wanted to like sit there, you know what I mean? And because when, when I went looking for him, that's how it used to happen at the other camping ground. That first camping ground where I actually met Oro and I used to have to sneak back in there after you'll see a video about it too I just can't upload it yet I uh, can't publish it yet and you know I used to have to sneak in there for water and stuff because there's no showers or taps along the beach no free water whatsoever from nowhere in that town so I had to sneak back into the camping even to just drink I was drinking dirty tap water well, it wasn't that bad, but, you know, it's still tap water. Uh, it wasn't the worst I've had, but, yeah. Um, so, luckily, it was half drinkable. But, um, yeah, and that's when I was staying on the beach, and I would go collect Oro. He'd stay with me for a few days. And look who's looking here with the... Uh, he's just staring at me with his... It's the same guy, by the way, that had my, my, uh, my jumper on got the fluoro isn't this interesting because he was just dead on staring at me look how unconscious man and yeah it's so, so interesting because the other day when I was going to same simulation Salinas that town that guy there had on the same pattern shirt as me and sorry that jumper you know that Incan looking blue white jumper you know that one? That sham shamanic looking jumper I wore it just yesterday. Also this morning, if I was on screencast right now, I was going to do it on screencast, but I've just opened my video, so we're just on my video now. Because uh, it's easier. Uh, and yeah, I just had to this time. And it, I could have showed you a little more fluoro. Fluoro yellow stripes on his work gear. Community ass blower over here. And... You know, the, the first thing I saw this morning, I went to brush my teeth in the kitchen and I look out the window, a guy across the road, orange, fluoro orange top and had those, those type of pants on with the yellow stripe around the knee, fluoro yellow around the knees. And I, I got, I've got it on video here, but we're, we're not on my screencast, we're in my video so I can't show you. <clears throat> There's that guy, more fluoro up there. I mean, it's just amazing, like, I don't think I'm, I did not have one, like, subconscious thought on, oh, you know, fluoro, I want to see fluoro today, or something like that, and I, I really don't think that I'm subconsciously attracting, uh, you know, all the gang stalking, uh, we'll talk about that more in another video, but pain, so, you know, I could, you know, not see Oro today and go into serious pain, and, you know, one thing, to overcome that is your own perception, overcoming your own perception. Look at this dick up here, man. Just, he was just wobbling under some influence. Now he's turned away. Pure demon, this guy. Um, yeah, he, he felt that. Um, so telepathy is increasing like crazy, but um, <clears throat> crazy, man. Yeah, and uh, so I'm.
Benjamin Kaumberg video, you got the fluoro orange backpack and the noise campaign. See that? Oh, and the fluoro yellow stripe guy over there. Fluoro orange backpack coming right next to me. Big truck noise campaign. It's a Benjamin Kaumberg video we've hit ourselves on. Oh, <laughs> this gang stalk is ridiculous, man. Um, stop eavesdropping me. Ride your bike. And you, you see people and what they're doing. You know what I mean? It's crazy. So many people under this influence, which to me looks like a demonic influence for sure. But um, yeah, so dealing with pain, one thing is overcoming your perception, like your cultural perception is a huge one. I'm not gonna point out any more fluoro because it is just fucking going crazy on me right now. It's been like this, it's picking up. So I don't know, I don't think it's my subconscious, we'll talk about it, but um, and I've got the girl with the orange fluoro backpack following me. So it's pretty interesting. Let's see what happens if I tangent this way, the opposite way I walked the last day. Um, yeah, so, it, so it's interesting that um, people put themselves in pain via their cultural you know, heritage and programming. And that's a huge step because it's so ingrained in you. So I, I, I would tell you to consciously look there, is what I'm saying, because we all have it, like all of us do it. Man. It's so such a young stage of life that we get that sort of stuff programmed into us. Um, yeah, so it's a huge deal, really, that cultural barrier of your perception. Like you could be putting yourself in pain under some cultural marriage law, you know what I mean? In the third world or the fifth world. So, that's what it's like for me, and who dumps the diving? Yeah. But yeah. No, it's your way, it's your way. Um, and, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's interesting, like, I could have put myself in pain there, and stopped and talked to him, and been energy extracted by the homeless dude there, but, you know, you've, you've got to be sharp, see, like, I could have been like, oh, well, I better be nice because culture told me to. But instead, no, I'm filming. I've got to do what I've got to do. So I made the logical decision and said, no, I'm, I'm going, bro. You know what I mean? So you've got, to, you've got to really think about how to get yourself out of pain because organic portals are always trying to put you into it. You know what I mean? Like they're always trying to get you into pain and worry and fear because it shuts off reception of the higher light. And I was also watching a video about Wi-Fi this morning um, on Dr. Kazar's channel from Earthshift Products and I was watching him pick up the Wi-Fi signal on the little meter and it picks up only the towers and the sound in different parts of the world. Like he lives at Hawaii, he was like in different places in the video in California and stuff. And that just got me thinking about the toxicity of how I'm living in uh, my current condition in the third world here in Uruguay in an apartment, which is the projects, nigga. You know what I mean? I'm living in the projects there. It's a project building. It's clearly a projects building. There's like four blocks. You know, it's like the, the epitome of what, a, what projects means over there. Um, anyway. <clears throat> so... Living in that situation, you got everybody else's Wi-Fi router to deal with in a very small space. So I reckon if I got that meter, it'd be crazy. And then he did a video on toxic bathroom navigation. God, it makes me like, oh, I need to get back to Australia and get on the good products again. Because I feel like how, how weak I've become here. And they want you weak, right? In most of the world, it's like that. Somehow, in the first world, we, we pushed past a lot of it. So anyway, make of that what you will. I don't want to comment. Um, but the fluoro, man, it's everywhere. And I don't think I'm noticing it more than I used to. Of course, that would be a little bit there, but it keeps coming up so, con so, so like uh, synchronistically and conspicuously, you know? It's ridiculous. First thing I wake up, I see the fucking fluoro just in the only place I can see out of the apartment, for Christ's sake. 
So I don't know how it's going to be today. I've got my phone on airplane mode so that they can't track me at least to there. But once I'm there, it, I'll, I'll be interested to see if they're flying planes over because I put the videos up yesterday. So they know I'm going there and what time because they saw the bus ticket. It's very difficult for me to shoot these videos sometimes because they set that shit up. See how that's set up via the hive? The bus ticket was there on the video. I mean, I could have not shot it. I realized after I kind of fucked up on that. But that, that sort of thing happens, right? Like, the, they set you up like that. One thing leads to another. I call that the ricochet effect, like a ricochet, like a bullet coming off a, a wall or something. A bit of metal or whatever. Um, yeah. So, you know, in the Wi-Fi situation, it's, it's deadly. Where in, if you're in the projects where I'm living, that type of thing, just in this normal urban environment, it's less, I reckon because uh, I'm talking about not the towers now, obviously like the Wi-Fi in the home from the devices and stuff, because it's microwave and you know, it can easily cause pain on the aluminium from the pesticides that's on like all your fruit, every bit of fruit, you know, etc. goji berries, etc. Titanium, lacings, all sorts of metals are laced into uh, pesticides. I worked on a farm, remember too, and it's in oil. So I mean, it's hard to, you have to degrade the oil to get even to the particles. So that shit goes deep in your brain, and then you're talking on your phone and you're like microwaving your brain. And you really would be. And it really does create pain. And if you can't feel this, you're what I call an organic portal. You're numb on positive charge on the surface. You're already dead. You're already dead, bro. There's no light coming up to heal that surface. And if you want to check, this is the ultimate, ultimate way to do it. You know, you go grounding, like I'm going to do today on the mountain. You'll be grounding a lot. And, uh, you know, you need to remove the toxins with chelation. Get your spirulina and, and cl uh, chlorella. But uh, yeah, anyway, just do that for a couple of months. You don't have to do it for the rest of your life, just at least for a couple of months, because you know, then it uh, works its way out of the body, at least to some degree. Uh, and you don't get any bad effects if you use something for a short time, you know what I mean? Everything in moderation. But yeah, that, that's another point. Everything in moderation, when organic portals are all around you, it's actually not just the Wi-Fi device beaming you bad energy, but on the ionic level, because we, with people with a soul have more negative charge. I'll say it again, people with a soul have more negative charge and mag magnetism. Uh, you know how this, they're putting all the coins on their forehead, saying that that means you're woke? I haven't done it yet, actually. They're staring at me. Just staring at me because he's the fluoro bot. Little bot man of the matrix. We're huger than them, by the way. You know, we have hyperborean presence, which is a spiritual space curve idea. And you, you kind of, you, you're bigger. You're like 10 foot tall, basically, in your, in your light body like that. Of that, uh, that respect to Hyperborea. And then there's the stuff like that where they try and scare you for no reason, putting bad, like, energy into you, you know what I mean? That's what I'm saying, they're ubiquitous. Organic portals are like almost everyone. Everybody is like this, so they're all, uh, you know, without, unconsciously giving you bad energy because the negative charge attracts the positive charge, ions. So you're actually just sucking up their pain when you're around them uh, without trying. It's just a natural process because they're positive and the negative attract to each other. So yeah, on the ionic level, they're even just creating pain for you without either of you knowing. So I mean, pain is, pain is, uh, you know, like a big step, right? A big barrier. You know, it's, a, it's a big deal. Um, is it the final barrier? I don't know if I'd say that, but um, yeah, it's, it's uh, something we, we're going to have to deal with, like the Wi-Fi example, you know, most people don't think about that during the day, but it's happening to them, and then they have a headache and they don't know why, you know what I mean? And then they get on a pharmaceutical pill, you see the ubiquity and the ricochet effect of the societal gang stalking that's set up to keep people fucked up and weak? 
and your glowing coat of awareness non-existent as soon as you get energy up and you get your glowing coat of awareness it just gets stolen if you're in some sort of urban setting unless you live in the country or something yeah so you know it's going to be hard for me to deal with not finding Oro today like if he doesn't want to come uh, see I'm hoping he wants to come but, but maybe he's off in a on a hunt away from where I'm going but I'm going to be yelling loud so I reckon he would hear me he has really good hearing um, so I'm going to have to deal with that pain right I'm going to have to uh, say to myself well look he could have got run over by a car and that would be worse that would make me lose all sort of faith in any sort of good god right however like i said the process went pretty smoothly actually for me getting him there and when i look back at it it's kind of really smooth even though he himself is hard to deal with little oro the, the whole process was very smooth and i talked about that in a previous video <clears throat> and You know, the, the mountain he is on has a giant cat statue above the bull statue, and then I got kicked out of that camping, which is called Cerro del Toro, and Toro means bull. So, and you know, I always deal with Baphomet and stuff, right? Baphomet energies, so that I get attacked by that arsehole a lot. Via, I won't say. Uh, anyway, so, um, you know, that mountain behind Oro, I just posted the video, also has a giant cross like a huge giant cross on it, a Christ cross. So pretty coincidental. The mountain behind it, which is even bigger, has a cross and then he's on a you know, a giant cat statue mountain. They don't have cat statues up all the mountains, guys. Pretty sure that's the only one. And this is the mountainous region. And he has mountain cat energy. And you know, I was used to watch him just taking down uh, big wasps. He came back with a really fat little paw once and he because he was swiping wasps and he just eats them and plays with them and nothing i mean he's like got the you know he's invincible little oro it's crazy you should have seen the size of his paw and then remember he had that thing in his ear that infection he's wild he's definitely like a young version of me <laughs> he's way more he's way more cat-like than all these cats in the city like this one oro is just intense that, that's a fat little cat there but Oro is just like all built like perfect light, you know, real strong little fella. Anyway, so I'm not that worried because like he, you know, I've, I knew the emotions would take ages to get over, but and it's not like I completely am. I, I would prefer him to come with me, but it's so difficult to get him to Australia. So this is how I'm dealing with it, right? I'm looking at the logic. So try not to look at the surface of the situation. Really think about it sometimes. You need to have a meditate. Now, meditation is very important. Why is this gamma security always sitting here, man? This dude's just always sitting here. Like, sitting, sitting in the same spot every time I go to the fucking bus stop. Kind of weird. Um, yeah, you know, it's, it's pretty interesting that uh, people can't deal with pain. You know what I mean? People shrug it off and... and uh, you know, it's like a, a deep, especially with the organic portal male, the men who have trekked the deepest into density. The density of some of these organic portal guys, you know, is unfathomable. <laughs> Literally, there is no fathoms. They're very shallow and dense, dense surface. Uh, huh, that came together well. Um, yeah, these, these organic portal males, you know, they'll, they'll shrug it off and like, in Australia, we have a saying like, drink a cup of concrete and harden up. Drink a cup of concrete and harden up. Clearly, no one's going to drink concrete, and it's just a saying. So it's it's fantastical in, in a uh, fantasy sense. It's fantasy. You're talking shit, in other words. It's not logical. You can't drink the cement. Yeah, I get the idea. But you said that's very organic portal saying. I've got massive sit noise campaign here. So you can't get away from all these frequencies in town. Now yeah, we've got the fluoro truck driver there. 
monitoring. Smith. And, you know, when I get into the forest, it takes me hours to get the, the city off me, so to speak, or the urban environment off me. That's all the frequencies. Like, I have to forgive people or the gang stalkers through my third eye. You know, I'm not responsible, guilty, not frustrated, not involved on the neap of the neck. This is Kundalini based. Guy staring at me for no reason. Um, you know, th that's Kundalini. And then there's other levels. Then you've got a chi charge up. Then you want to work your way through, you know, through all the energies, correct the neurons that these idiot organic portals have misplaced in your brain. So that's happening right now. My connections, my cranial connections are being fucked up. My neuronal connections are being messed with. That's why it's harder to think. I'm always distracted by every fucking second gang stalker. You know what I mean? So you have to get the Deeksha, eighth dimensional. You have to get the Deeksha uh, flowing, and then you want to move to Prana, so you feel good. Prana yum, ah, right? You feel good on Prana. So, so what, uh, what's happening is, you know, you're being filled up with garbage here. Garbage frequencies, and, and that affects everything. Everything you do, like, it do, do you remember? Well, it doesn't, I'll just say it for myself, it doesn't matter what you eat if you're taking in just uh, really bad frequencies and negative thoughts and this and that. You know what I mean? You still degrade yourself. So the frequencies, it's not like it's nothing. It is affecting you all. Even the best of us. That's why, the, you know, some of the best of us don't even want to be near people. Because, you know, people are filled with it. And then don't know how to heal up and get that pain off them and just pass it on. I mean, I've done it recently, like asking, yesterday's video, I had a bad tone of voice, had a horrible time, and, you know, I'm asking you for donations, and I had, you know, a, a little bit of a bad attitude with it. But that's, you know, I'm, I'm going to be myself, so you guys know. Okay, he really, you know, does need a hand, you know what I mean? Uh, anyway, I mean, you have to cry out for help, you know, people sometimes are not just going to know. Uh, anyway, so... Uh, yeah, just dealing with pain guys, you know, just wanted to get that point across today because I've been having a real difficult time with it and I'm a professional at it, at dealing with pain. I've grown up surfing and just in beautiful, uh, beautiful frequencies in Australia, you know what I mean? It's open spaces, it's more clogged and closed up here and like there's more living close to people. Like, there's a lot of granny flats, a lot of really small apartments in Uruguay, you know what I mean? Australia's more spread out. And I've grown, grown up more like that. And you feel the difference. I feel the clarity. Way different. I feel horrible here. Like, I've, I've wanted to kill myself. That's how bad it's been here. Um, and then, yeah, there's the pain of low income. Right? That, that, that's been part of my problem as well. Low income. Because going to the workplace is so toxic for me because I'm intensely targeted I basically can't have a normal job if I go for it it only ever lasts a few months because of the friction but it's us versus them soul people with a soul versus soulless humans essentially right so I mean I just get it I just get attacked too much you know I can't I can't do a normal job I don't know what I'm gonna do I have to keep trying to just be a streamer online and keep going at this philosophy hoping, you know, there's other people out there who realise, you know, we're stronger together and we need to, like, work together at this. I've said that from the start. Try to join up other organic portal channels. You can put it on your channels tab, on your YouTube. So you're, like, saying, hey, yeah, we're, like, affiliated or here's a channel that's similar. No one wanted to. And now I've said, fuck you all. I'll just go to the top myself. <clears throat> oh yeah, you don't think so? I started this channel with fake clicks. You only know me. Because I, I didn't have Facebook anymore. I was off social media. I was air-gapped from the community, from the world. Air-gapped. I wasn't even on the internet, really. You couldn't, you couldn't get to me. And then I started the YouTube channel a year or two later. And I started that from zero. Because I had to get myself out of the pain of low income. I needed to do something. I went, well, I'm good at social media and stuff. I got all these IT skills of police. Here we got police here. 
Uh, and I'm really, I'm really good at all this IT stuff, you know what I mean? And I've got the ability to uh, get an 